Hey guys, it's Steph. I'm doing the Dyson test. So this Dyson, uh, the Dyson blow dryer we found in a pallet. Actually, we got two of them. And I have been wanting one of these for years. I've been wanting to find one. Um, I don't know, ever since they came out, just to see, because I love Dyson. I love it, but I would never pay this much for a hair dryer. So I've been wanting to find one when we go dumpster diving. I haven't found one yet, but we got it on two of them on a pallet. And um, when you get stuff on a pallet, you can justify keeping stuff sometimes because you're never gonna find it for cheaper than that. I just don't know if I can justify keeping this when I could sell it for like 300 bucks probably versus this, which was free. It's my Chi Touch, Chi Touch 2, I don't know, Chai Touch 2, Chi Touch 2, I don't know. If you guys saw the video where I found these, I found 10 of them I think in the Ulta dumpster. They had cut cords. I did a cut cord repair video. Um, that was before I started repairing them up, up in here, but this was like one of the first ones I repaired. So it's not that pretty, but I kept it for myself. And I've been using it this whole time and I love it. It's a great hair dryer. And um, so I just wanna see what's the big difference between regular hair dryer. I mean, these are like a $200 hair dryer. These are like a four or $500 hair dryer. It's crazy. So. Coolest thing, size. Let's just talk about that. Um, big difference. Like if you're putting one of these in a suitcase, this is small. They're about the same weight though. They're heavy. They're both heavy. Um, the attachments, look at that. Let it go and it snaps on. That is nice. Whereas mine falls off every time I put it down. I should glue it, but I do have this other attachment that I put on here and it can do your hair like in this windy spiral thing. Anyway, so sometimes I put that on here. Um, I also have a diffuser, but I, I don't ever do my hair curly. Um, but anyway, they both come with a diffuser. This one comes with two attachments um, that are different widths. So a skinny one, wide one, and the diffuser attachment. I'm gonna say this fatter one is a fairer uh, example to mine. So the skinnier one might do better. It'll be do better with styling tools probably. But um, so for comparison's sake, I'm gonna do the fatter of the two. I guess what people are saying, this is, um, it has a button for the speed level and a button for the heat level. So I'm gonna put it on high heat cause I'm just used to having to have high heat when you dry your hair. But I guess what's wonderful about the Dyson is it doesn't do as hot of heat so it protects your hair. And um, I don't know, I blow my, dry my hair every day. And this one, it has different temperatures too. So it, but it has ions and I, I love ions, but I don't think this one has them. So we'll see what happens. I love ions as if I know any different between an ion or not, but supposedly it makes your hair shinier. And um, I don't know, I just feel like I should have some ions in my items for some reason, which is stupid, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be different. Anyway, so let's see, first of all, time for drying. So my hair is in my Turby Twist but it is kind of um, dry-ish right now, just because I took a shower a little while ago. So let me get it wet so it's equally wet for both. I was thinking about splitting my head. Maybe I should. Just doing a left and a right and seeing how long which one dried faster but i feel like it's not going to be a fair comparison because the other side is going to be getting dried while um the other one is drying so i don't want to blow a fuse either by having two hair dryers on so i'm not going to do them at the same time okay so my hair you can see it's wet and it's it's long right now it's real long because COVID and I haven't had my hair cut in forever. And you can tell my roots. I don't even know where they are anymore. It's been so long. But anyway, my hair's wet. So let's do this. What should we start with? My hair dryer? Uh, we'll start with the Dyson. Actually, we'll start with mine. Okay. Oh. Oops, I forgot. Set the timer. sure that's wet again okay
It feels pretty dry. So, two minutes. Oh, it looks backwards on my camera, but I don't know. It's two minutes, 53 seconds. And I'd say my hair is completely dry. Now I can tell you one thing, this is on highest heat setting and uh, the whole time and full ions the whole time. I feel like it's shiny. I feel like my ions are doing good. Now let's test temperature. Let's test the hottest, see where it goes. I don't know how fair that is because this is metal and I'm just sitting there blowing hot air on it, but however long I blew that, it said about 105 or so, we'll say, is what it was coming out at. Let's see which one sounds noisier. Quieter. It's quieter. There's a weird um, whistle to it, but it sounds like they're vacuum cleaners, the way that it has a whistle to it, like a weird whistle. Uh, the cord. Look how thick this cord is on this Dyson. Like it's, this is a regular cord. This is thick like a vacuum cleaner cord. So that is heavy, weird, awkwardy to me. Um, but who cares if it's wonderful? I can't wait. Okay, now let's get my hair wet. Okay, my hair is fully wet. Again, here we go. Dyson on high, heat and high uh, speed. So that took me longer. I think it's dry. That took me a lot longer, a whole minute, I guess, um, to do the Dyson, but maybe it was more wet. It doesn't feel like it was as hot, that's for sure. It wasn't um, significantly quieter to where I would say, yeah, it justifies it. This isn't boiling hot, which is nice. My other one is really hot. If I touch this to take it off, I can take this off and it's okay. Uh, let's do temperature wise. That stopped around 105 too. Let me see this one. I'll just keep putting it on there for a minute. Okay, so it went to 120 actually on this one. If I hold it on there until it just stops going up in temperature, that's what it got to. It did take a little bit longer. Um, can't say I see or feel much of a difference of any sort for the ions, maybe over time, I don't know. But is it worth it? I would say no, one was free. Is it $300 worth it? No. Am I going to keep it? I don't know. I mean, I could have a $300 hair, hair dryer for free when we sell the other stuff in that palette, but I could also have a profit of $300 more. Um, I, I don't know. I'm going to probably use it like a week straight and see what happens. I'm not sold on it as much as I wanted it to be like some miracle. Um, I think I could just turn down the heat on my hair dryer a little bit, you know? I I have it on max. Um, see, my thing just came off. Let me show you what it looks like on max. is a medium it's the highest medium heat on my scale so this is doing an output the same as that uh, Dyson so I'm gonna get my hair wet again I'm gonna do it with this one at that same temperature and see how long that takes okay so I'm wet headed again I'm gonna squeegee some out 
And uh, so let's see with my hair dryer on medium, almost medium high heat at the maximum speed um, and maximum ions. We'll see what happens. So it was faster with my hair dryer, even at the same speed or temperature. I feel like it's shinier. It just feels, um, I don't know, feels different a little bit. I thought maybe it was because I dried it twice, but it just feels, uh, maybe those ions are great. Um, I think my my hair dryer won the test. The um, only thing is, it could be a little bit better with the skinnier hose. It could be better for do it, styling your hair. Anyway, I'm gonna say Dyson hair dryer. What's the big whoop? I don't think it's that much better. Um, for the price wise, I just. They're both heavy. Let me go get a scale. Okay, I know this isn't gonna be exact because there's cords involved, but I'll to sort of hold the cord in the air so it doesn't necessarily make much of a difference. So one pound, 2.8 ounces. So if I let the cord go, it just added a little bit more uh, to 1.49. one, 1 1.5, so it is a little lighter with the cord, which isn't really an indicator. 1.4, 1, 4.2, they're about the same, I'd say. By the way, look at this. This is my concrete countertop that my beautiful husband made me. And I know I've said this before, because I've found a lot of hair dryers so far now, and we've done a lot of liquidation and gotten tons of hair dryers different ones um, on our Amazon palettes mainly. And I've said all along, I don't see what the big deal is between a Conair and like these. They aren't massively different other than I know that hairdressers prefer some because they're really light or the way they fit in their hand. Um, there's things like that where comfort wise it might make a difference. But as far as drying hair, it's just blowing hot air. And um, I do feel like I know it's a weird thing to talk about the ions, but when I used to use my other hair dryers that didn't have them, I felt like my hair did get shinier and uh, fluffier almost. Um, and I don't know if that would matter throughout the day, but I, I do feel like on the cheaper hair dryers that don't have it or the ones that are really hot heat um, and don't blow as hard or, you know, I haven't ever had my hair get sucked up into this one, but the old ones with the mesh, you know, the circle, I've had my hair sucked in those so many times. So I've never had it in my hair dryer, this one. Um, and it's certainly not going in this one. This is, that's a circle right there. It's not getting sucked in there. And that's amazing. I like that part. I'm going to mess around with the diffuser option and see what the difference is between the two once I find my diffuser. Um, I love that the attachments magnetize in there. I don't know if you saw when I was drying my hair, this thing popped off. It does it all the time. It didn't used to, but um, it's so loose on there now. I thought about permanently gluing it, but like I said, sometimes I put my hair wave thing on there, which is this. <laughs> if you've seen this was on the As Seen on TV, I do love it. You just put it on there and you dry your hair and it, it swirls it into like a tornado. And I only think it would work for like somebody like me who has like baby fine hair. I don't know that it would work for thick hair, but if you've got three-year-old hair like I do, then it, it'll it work. It totally works for me. So, um, but I don't do it very often just because it, it kind of looks like uh, by the end of the day, it doesn't look as good. But anyway, I do like this little attachment. Sometimes it's fun. Anyway, so of the two, I already own this one. 
This one would just be a fun gadget to have, but for 300 bucks, if I find one of these in the dumpster, I will keep it. Fix their cord and I will keep that puppy. But I'm gonna sell this because I'm a reseller. And yeah, it's fun to have a little splurge and everything every once in a while, but I don't feel like this justifies what I've already got. I'm perfectly happy with this one, I love it. And it was free. And it's a really good hair dryer. So, anyway, that's my conclusion. It's gonna be gone. Sorry, Dyson. I love your vacuums, and I do wanna love this hair dryer, but I don't think it's worth the price point. So, enjoy your life. On to the next.